Once you've set up an, a site blueprint and you've identified the main phrases that you want to target for pages on your site, the time comes when you need to start finding the theme words for each of the pages. So let's just open a site blueprint and I can show you an example. Here I've set up a site blueprint where I've used three groups. A home page group, which just contains the home page obviously, main pages, and then I've started to put together some article pages, phrases that I'm going to use for article pages. Now, that's the main page of the home page, it's, that's the main phrase of the home page, but I need a list of theme words that I can use on the home page as well. And in this video I want to show you how to do that by using the database, that is um, all this data that you've collected from your keyword research tool. Now to find the theme words we use these uh, buttons up here. Unfortunately while I'm recording the screen the tooltips don't work but you should be able to find the tooltips um, if you put your mouse over. The first button will find um, the theme words for a selected phrase. So if you've selected a phrase here you can click that button and then you can go off and find theme words for it. The second button will find the theme words for an entire group of phrases. So for example let me go over to this one. If I click the second button then it would find uh, the theme words for all of these in one go. Okay, The third button, this one here, will go off and find the theme words for every phrase in every group. So it will start off first by going to the home page group, finding the theme words for any phrases that are in there. Then it will go to the main pages and find the theme words for any phrases in there, which happens to be these ones here. And then it will go to the, the article pages and it will find theme words for all the phrases in there. Now that might sound really great, and it is, um, but not when you're using the keyword database to find your theme words. The reason being is um, that each of these groups are going to be different probably the emphasis, I mean these phrases are grouped together for a reason and um, when you come to find theme words using a database you'll have a global set of theme words which will be used if there aren't enough theme words found. Now if each of these groups contains very different phrases then those global groups, are the global group of phrases is going to be different for each of the groups. Um, we'll look at that in a minute when we come to find the theme words. Let's just go and we'll find the theme word. We'll use the first button and that finds just the theme words for an individual phrase that is highlighted here. So let's click the button and we're taken to the, the build theme word list. And here you can see you've got two tabs, query database and query web. This is the one we're interested in in this case. Now you'll see over here the global phrase box and if you look at this it says used to make up the numbers if relevant phrase specific theme words cannot be found. Now what you do is you create a, a global theme word list. You can do it quickly using the database and there we have it. KRA Pro has already found it. You can create a global theme list by using the synonym generator That actually queries Google to find out which words Google thinks are synonyms. And then if you want to use that, you can just copy to globals. If we close the screen now, you'll see that those phrases are added to the end. Um, but the idea here is that when um, KRA Pro goes to try and find theme words for this particular phrase, if it can't find enough, and in this case, I've specified that I want a minimum of 20 theme phrases, the uh, theme words. If KRA Pro can only, for example, find 10 for, for a particular phrase, then it will take the top 10 from here as well to make up the numbers. This found at least twice is worth keeping checked. Um, basically what it means is any theme words that are potentially found, these ones here, have to occur at least twice in the database of related phrases. If it doesn't occur twice then the chances are that um, it's not a proper word or it's a misspelling or something else. So it's worth just keeping that checked anyway. Okay so we've got our global phrases here 
and we can just click on OK and KRA Pro now tells us that it's found our theme words here and there's quite a long list. You can spend time going through and editing them. To edit this list all you need to do is to highlight and delete. Basically it's just like a little text editor. You can go in, you can remove words, you can type words in, um, you can type in there as well and when you've finished you just save with the save button down there. Okay, so there we've found the theme words for a single phrase. I would just specify that when you do this, you should spend time cleaning this list and making sure that the phrases are really ones that you want to target. Now, let's have a look at the second group, main pages. We've got seven phrases here, and we could go through each one and individually find the theme words using the first button. However, as I mentioned before, we can use this button to find theme words for all of the phrases in a particular group. So let's click it and see. We come back to the same screen and uh, I'd like to highlight this bit over here for you to explain to explain um, what this is about. Ignore these words. Now to tell you how this works, I need to explain what KRA does to find theme words. Let's just close that screen for a moment. KRA Pro will look at the phrase Callaway Golf Clubs and it will then go to the database and it will say, right, show me all the phrases that contain the word words Callaway and Golf and Clubs. Well, let's have a look. Let's do an advanced search, Callaway and Golf and Clubs. And you can see down here that there's 34 phrases found. Now the problem is, not every phrase about Callaway Golf Clubs is going to have the words Callaway and Golf and Clubs in the phrase. And I can demonstrate that by just typing in the word Callaway here. And now all of a sudden we've got 51 phrases. If you look, not all of these have the words Callaway and golf and clubs in them. For example, this one, Callaway Big Bertha Titanium Driver Review. Now that is obviously about golf clubs and it's obviously about Callaway golf clubs. This one as well, Callaway Golf Driver Knockoffs. Well, again, it's about Callaway golf clubs, but it doesn't have those words in there. So what do we do? Well, let's go back to this ignore list, this ignore these words section over here. All of the keywords in my database are about golf clubs. So really, when I want to search for information on these, I want to ignore the words golf and clubs, or club. Now I've typed club, not clubs, because the word club is found inside the word clubs and therefore will be ignored as well. So this will ignore golf, club, clubs when it's searching for theme words. So now, instead of trying to um, find phrases that contain uh, theme words that contain, uh, sorry, instead of trying to find phrases that will contain Callaway and golf and clubs, it will just find phrases that contain the word Callaway and ping and clone and tailor-made and Cleveland and so on. So you can inc include ignore these words to exclude the most common words in your database. If your database is about golf clubs, then you should ignore the word golf and clubs. If your database is about hypertension, then you should ignore the word hypertension. If your database is about blue widgets, then you should ignore the words blue widgets. And then we can just click on the OK. KRA Pro has now, that was in real time, KRA Pro has now found your theme words for each of these. And if you look at the lists over here, most of them are very different words. They're based on the information in the database. The final button here, um, which finds all the theme words for all of the phrases in all of the groups, I don't recommend you use it when you're using the database method to find theme words. Because, as I've said before, um, that would mean that all of your groups will use the same global phrase list. If your groups 
are, sp are separated because they're slightly different topics, then you will want a different global phrase list for each group. And so I would suggest you use the middle button and do one group at a time.